the IR embedded workbench for Renaissance Synergy. It's now available in the Renaissance Synergy gallery. In order to get access to the IR tools, you have to register at the Renaissance Synergy gallery. And under the development uh, tools tab, you can download the IR embedded workbench for Synergy. Additionally, you also need to download the Renaissance standalone Synergy configurator and the Synergy software package. So before of using the IR tools, you need to register for a license. The link is available here directly on the gallery, but we also have uh, the Getting Started Guide. Uh, in the Getting Started Guide, you have the step-by-step -step on how to uh, do the installation. So first, you should install the Renessa Synergy Standalone Configurator, the SSC. The default path is C Renessa Synergy SSC, but of course you can change and customize this path. Next step is to install the SSP. So this needs to be installed to the default path or your customized path. And from here, we are good uh, to install the IR and Webber Workbench and run, run the IR tools. So this is how uh, the IR ID for Renaissance Synergy looks. And from here, it's straightforward on how to start a project. You only need to go to project, create a new project. And then we have here a template for Renaissance Synergy project. We only need to define a workspace name here first. Next step is to set the paths for the Renaissance Synergy standalone configurator and the SSP uh, package. If you used the default path, then it will be C Renaissance Synergy SSC. And finally, you need to point to the license file. So it's the XML file that it's included directly on the SSP. From here, once you click OK, it will ask for a project name and the configurator will start from here. Uh, first steps are to go through the wizard. And then of course, if you have older SSP versions, you can select it from here. But the latest version is the 1.1.0. All the ports are supported. In this case, I'm using a 7 g 2 sk And if needed, you can even change the device from here. But I only need to click next. I can use one of the project templates. I will use the Blinky project with ThreadX and from here I can just click finish and the configurator will start with all uh, components and configurations available. From here, since it's a template, I only need to generate the project and once I close the configurator, the project will be uh, created here and as you can see, there is an icon here for the Synergy Configurator, so you can start it anytime. But you can always come back here, right click on the Synergy icon, and then you can open the Configurator. And you can also change the Synergy settings here. So if you, by the way, just change uh, the installation folder for the SSC, or even if you want to change uh, the license here from the evaluation license to the production license, this is the way on how to do it. And from here, I'm good to build my project. And as expected, we should have uh, no errors here. And you're good to start developing your project from main or from the thread directly.